how to identify the Dassault Mirage F1 fighter all the way from France. The Mirage F1 entered service in 1973 with the French Air Force and this aircraft remained in production until 1992. By the time it left production more than 12 countries had decided to make the Mirage F1 a mainstay of their fighter aircraft fleets. The aircraft continued in French Air Force service up until 2014 and it was the main fighter of the French Air Force until the introduction of the Mirage 2000. This aircraft is used in the attack interceptor and of course strike rolls. This highly successful aircraft had a production run of more than 700 examples. And so now let's look at the specifications of the French Mirage F1. Crew 1, payload 6,300 kgs or almost 14,000 pounds, length 15.3 meters or 50 feet 2.5 inches, wingspan 8.4 meters or 27.6 feet, excuse me, or 27 feet and 6 and 3 quarter inches, height 4.5 meters or 14 feet 9 inches, max takeoff weight 16,200 kgs or 35,000 plus pounds, max speed that is Mark 2.2 .2, that is almost 2,400 k's or 1450 miles an hour roughly, max ceiling 50,000 feet plus, ferry range 3,300 k's or 1,800 nautical miles or 2100 miles. Armament consists of two 30mm cannon, rockets, bombs, missiles include AAMs such as sidewinders, air to surface missiles such as exosets or laser guided missiles. And with that now let's look at the identifying features of the Mirage F1. And so the wings are swept back and tapered as you can see in this, in this example here. And this Spanish example has square tips without the missile rails. Now usually when it comes to the combat aircraft they'll, you'll see the missile ra uh, rails on the wing tips. And here in this photo we can see, as I've just pointed out before, that the missiles are usually mounted at the wing tips. And you can see those missile rails here in those highlighted yellow ovals. And in this photo here we can see this aircraft has high mounted wings. You can see one of those wings in that big long yellow oval there, eh? And this plane has a single engine. It is a single engine mounted inside the body. It is a turbojet and of course, as it only has a single engine, it also only has a single exhaust and you can see that there in that yellow circle at the rear of the aircraft. In this photo here we have a two-seat Mirage F1. Now, we can see that Mirage F1 has semicircular air intakes alongside the body, forward of the wing roots. Looking at the fuselage, we can see that the fuselage is long, it is slender, and it has a pointed nose. We have a stepped up canopy, mostly over a single man cockpit. But as I said, you know, every now and again you'll see those conversion trainers, which will have a two seat cockpit. Looking at the rear of the aircraft, we can see two small belly fins under the tail section and you can see those there in those purple ovals. Now I put this photo in here, as a, or this diagram in here, as I think it's useful. And what it shows is variations in the tail fin of the Mirage F1. And when it comes to these variations here, it actually reminds me of the MiG-23. Nevertheless, have a look in the tail on the left side you don't have a step there but if you look at the tail section on the right side you can see that step there which is marked as a high frequency antenna. And now let's look at the tail. The tail is swept back and tapered with a blunt slanted tip at the top and you can see that there in this photo quite clearly which is why I didn't think I needed to put an oval or circle around the top of the tail. And looking at this example here of a Libyan Mirage F1, I have written here some variants may have that triangular or HF antenna foot at the base of the tail as, as does this Libyan example and you can see it there in that purple oval. And the tail flats are mid mounted on the fuselage, they are swept back and tapered with blunt tips and I have a tail flat there highlighted with that yellow oval. 
In the next couple of photos are here just for practice and I say here what aircraft do you recognize in this picture? What features can you identify? So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds here and then I'll tell you what aircraft we have here. So I'm just going to talk around, talk a little bit and then you guys take the time to try and identify these features. Now if you're wondering what that stick up there on those planes are, the little stick thing there, forward of the cockpit, those are actually refuel, uh, refueling probes but they can be removed, which is why I don't use those as identifying features. Okay, have you had a long enough look at this slide, this photo? Okay, the answers are we have a pair of F-16 Fighting Falcons, the Belgians, and we have two Mirage F-1s. The Mirage F-1s are the aircraft leading and trailing this formation, and the F-16s are on the left and the right. Okay, next photo. Okay, again, another four aircraft formation, and I say here, what aircraft can you identify in this picture? What features can you identify? And I'll give you a few seconds here. Once again, I'm going to talk a little bit. And when I finish talking, I'll tell you the answer to this question. And I'll tell you what aircraft these are. Although most of you probably already know, most, most of you would know already probably what these aircraft are, as they are all fairly common. And on that, now the one at the top, the top there actually belongs to the Canadian Air Force. So that may be a bit of a clue for you. I can't really see what the far one, the far aircraft is. Now the, the one, the nearest one is, belongs to the Belgian Air Force and the other one, the last aircraft in this picture belongs to the French Air Force by the looks of it. Okay, so on that note, let's see what we have here. Well, one of these aircraft is definitely not a Mirage F1 as it has twin tails and those long exhaust extending way past the, tail, the uh, twin tails. Okay. Now the Mirage F1 does have a single engine, however, it has high mounted wings and those two other fighters there, they don't have high mounted wings but they do have bubble ca uh, canopies and the Mirage F1 of course has a stepped cockpit canopy, not a bubble canopy and the intakes on the two aircraft in the middle are underneath the aircraft as opposed to being alongside the fuselage. So the answers for this photo are FA-18 Hornet is the front aircraft the F-16 Fighting Falcon are the middle aircraft, and the last aircraft, of course, is the Dassault Mirage F-1. Okay, all, and once again, thanks all for watching. Go ahead and like, dislike, share, and subscribe. Go ahead, you have nothing to lose, nobody has to know. Remember, I welcome your comments, so comment away, and if you have suggestions or notice I made a mistake, then please go ahead and bring them to my attention. Your suggestions help me to improve. And with that, everybody, I'm out of here until next time. You all take care. Good night, everybody.